Okay, so this auto subscription right here for future webinars is quite a unique feature. So essentially what you can do is click on yes to display the auto subscription options. So um, attendees can basically automatically subscribe to your up and coming future webinars. And you can also click on no if you don't want this enabled. Now this option right here down below is basically where you can create like a survey for your attendees, which is completely optional. And you can use this to gather more, you know, marketing intel. So you can, you know, improve your messaging to obviously improve your conversions and, you know, improve your um, upcoming like, you know, webinars for your webinar jam you know live broadcasting right because at the end of the day you know if we know our customer better if we know that you know their pains and their you know desires we're able to serve them at a higher level you know deliver more value and most importantly if we understand them we're able to present the right message in front of them to obviously get them to buy our product at the very end of the webinar and we'll be getting results at the same time okay so you know this is very powerful and i'll leave this option up to you based on what you want to do so i'll just click on confirm for this video we can go over here to the live section right here where we can actually you know configure all this information right here and all these features right here uh, as we actually like go live you know in our um, webinar jam you know broadcasting are actually all designed to actually help you increase your conversions and actually make the most out of your webinar right so the first thing we can actually do right here is actually customize our countdown pages because basically as people you know go on our webinars right here um they're actually you know once they actually like try to sign in to watch the webinar they're actually going to be taken to this page where they'll see like a template on how long they actually have to wait for our webinar to start so obviously this is just you know a demo but basically you know your people are going to be going over here and they'll be seeing like the countdown timer of when it's actually going to be starting so as you can see starting soon in 99 days obviously in a real life situation this is probably going to be you know a couple of days once someone actually like you know puts in their email to join your webinar or it's really up to you on how long you want to actually delay your webinar or schedule your webinar for but yeah that's pretty much your countdown page and where your attendees will be waiting until your webinar is actually officially live so we can click on confirm and we can go over here to pre-configure your webinar polls so you can ask a question within your actual webinar itself and then attendees and need like the live chat section can basically you know put in their um answers right here or basically select some options um for the poll based on your question right now another very very powerful feature in fact this is a must actually if you want to make money using webinar jam is to actually add a new offer in your webinar jam account so we can click on add new offer I'll fill out all this information real quick so you can see the end result. All right, so I just fill out the blanks right here and it basically uploaded an image. And what we have right here is a call to action. So basically the headline right here, you know, how to rank videos on YouTube. Um, the image is just basically a YouTube icon. And then obviously, you know, um, the text, you know, above the buy button is get your ranking secrets revealed and click it to buy now. So essentially, basically what's going to be happening right here is people are going to be seeing this call to action within the actual live chat area in itself. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. And obviously, you know, you can put in your price right here. So I made it, you know, $999.7 and yeah you can also broadcast real-time sales for social proof so when anyone buys your product you know within the live webinar you know that's going to be proof that you know other people are buying the product which is going to encourage more people to buy your product so it's just going to you know compound and make you more money so definitely and make sure to enable this if you don't want to you can always uncheck it what you can also do right here is you know apply some scarcity so maybe you know um this one-time offer you know 999.7 dollars is going to be only available for the first 100 people or let's just say you know the, for the first 50 people um if that actually does happen you'll be making fifty thousand dollars in this made up example okay because obviously 1000 times 50 is going to be equal 50 grand which would be a lot of money and what you can also do is actually apply some urgency so basically the offer will expire in a certain amount of time and you can use like all three of these like different like you know um, psychological like mental triggers because you know social proof and you know scarcity and urgency are all basically psychological triggers that get people to act and buy now so and we can click on save cool so we have our offer right here and as you can see on screen right here you know this is where people are going to be like typing their chat and stuff like the offer is actually going to cover the whole screen like during your webinar so when you actually have your call to action within your webinar near the end you can basically have this offer just appear on the right hand side where the text is so then people can just see the offer they can see the headline they can see the call to action and they can just you know click on the um, buy now button to buy your course or your product or in this case you know to even download your pdf so there's lots of different call to actions depending on what your webinar you know is going to be all about and what you actually want the end result to be you can have a call to action and an offer to get people to basically you know go to your website and buy your product 
store to download a product or something like that so that's how you actually go about you know doing that inside of webinar jam so these video injections right here what you can actually do during your live webinar so let's just say you know you're doing a live webinar and you want to take a break real quick or you have to go do something you can actually add a video to basically like play in the meantime while you actually respond to the chat or take a break real quick so this video will basically be displayed and take over for a short period of time while you're gone so that's you know the video injections you can pre-configure your file sharing right here by sharing files um, and you can also pre-configure your slide presentation as well um, which is also pretty powerful so you can click here that in your slide presentation and you can do all of that right here so let me just go over here and click on confirm and let's go over to the replay section because we are nearly you know almost finished our webinar so all you have to do right now is you know go over here to decide if you want to actually like you know have a replay for our webinar right here so um if you want to disable the replay you can just click here if you want to enable the replay which i'll strongly recommend you can click on confirm and basically there'll be a lot of more options on how you can actually go about doing this you can have a replica replay exact same recorded footage of the live you know session you can have a custom you know video which is going to be playing a pre-recorded video of your choice as a replay for the webinar you can also have a redirect to a url which can be taking your attendees to an external page that's going to be up to you um, and what you can also do is you know set a webinar replay expiration time which i'll recommend as well so you can actually get people to watch the webinar you know as soon as possible instead of procrastinating so essentially you can you know create like a deadline that within like 24 hours or even like 72 hours that you have to watch the replay or else you can't access it you know after 72 hours which they can't so you can set that up as well and you can also allow users to submit questions during the replay so essentially people are going to be you know wanting some help and stuff you can always have them submit questions and then basically you can put in the email and you'll receive notifications regarding that and yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to like you know setting up your webinars so that's the webinar tutorial and i want to be showing you basically how you can actually test the webinar now and you know what it's actually going to be looking like live so we've covered like the first big part so now that we've actually finished you know setting up our webinar what we want to do now is actually run a test and get things rolling so we can actually present our live webinar as soon as possible um, so what we can do right here, obviously, you know, you want to make sure people can register for your webinar. And what we can do right here is actually go directly to the live room and we can see what it's going to be like right off the bat. So here's like a last minute checklist, which is important. So keep this in mind when you, you know, you're doing your webinar. So it's actually a quality. Click on continue and we can do a test. So I'm going to be doing a test right here. And obviously you want to make sure it works for you. This is just for a demo video, so I'm not too concerned. So what we can do right now is enter the room. Just a reminder, pretty much, this is just a test webinar. So don't actually find any, you know, attendees or real people that you're trying to sell to in this test webinar. Now, as you can see right here, there's also different things we can do. We can turn on my mic so our, you know, audience can hear us. Then we can also turn on the webcam. So that's what I look like. So <laughs> there's me. Um, we can also turn that off and we can also share our screens. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, we can choose what um, screen or like what menu we want to like, you know, share screens with. So I can just share screens on my webinar, you know, platform, for example. Um, and we can basically see like all the tabs I have open, which is pretty nice. And basically, you know, um, yeah, we can also share um, your webcam, like my face at the same time throughout the video. And basically that's how we can broadcast live and another cool feature i wanted to go over real quick is the whiteboard feature so basically what we can do is we can like you know scribble like little different things so for example i can just like scribble like a bunch of random stuff i can obviously like try to create like a sales funnel if i was trying to like teach like people about the sales funnel or something i don't know <laughs> Um, but we can always just clear all the mess on the page and you know there's obviously more instructions how this all works you can turn on you know off your um, face cam if you want so yeah um that's the whiteboard feature so i'm going to turn that off and basically what we can do is we can kind of see like you know um the live webinar chat as you can see right here so you can enable chat all messages are public you can check out the chat right here so this is where people are going to be like chatting which is cool um you can ch you know obviously check out your polls so we can create polls as well your offers so we've kind of went over the offer already the youtube ranking course we can just import it in and there we go offer ends you know in 20 minutes and available units is you know 50 and basically people can just click here to buy now and we can always click on publish there you go the countdown is starting you know um basically you know people are going to be buying the course um you know as we present it in our live webinar and obviously i'm not really doing a live webinar now but i'm just kind of like giving you a demo but that's pretty much how it works videos you can broadcast the video um file sharing if you want to share a file you can do that now um slide presentations and speak requests so there's also different things we can do but um yeah i just want to give you like a bit of a demo inside of like you know the webinar jam platform also you can see like the number of attendees you have like you know in your webinar session you can also see how long your you know webinar is going for and you know the wi-fi connection so there's lots of things we can actually go over but um yeah that's basically a brief overview of what you can actually expect inside of webinar jam
And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's Webinar Jam tutorial video. Again, I'll leave a link down below to Webinar Jam where you can actually get a trial of the software and actually test it out. And you can click here to create an account. And once you do, you'll be taken to the next page where you can see the pricing plans. And um, the pricing plans are actually pretty reasonable compared to like all the other, you know, competitors out there. Um, but you do have to pay, you know, annually, but essentially with Webinar Jam, you're basically like, you know, paying like $39 a mom. And other competitors like, you know, go to Webinar, you know, charge like $100, $130 a mom. So there's like a big difference. I'm also going to leave a link down below to my bonus page for um, Webinar Jam as well. We can get some bonuses right here, you know, for, um, you know, YouTube, Google, all these other different bonuses as well for Webinar Jam. Um, also, I'll leave a link down below to the resources right here for these two resources and, you know, the resources as well to help you get, you know, some training and also share with you the perfect webinar scripts. You can actually script your webinars so they actually convert. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you did find value in today's, you know, webinar jam tutorial, make sure to leave a like. And um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more, you know, videos in the nearby future. Um, again, I'll leave a link down below to Webinar Jam so you can actually test out the software and, you know, create your account right now and get a trial for the software, of course. And I'll link down below all the other resources as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's, you know, Webinar Jam tutorial slash demo video. So thanks for watching.